Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Scott with Keeping It Real Bass Fishing. We are out on the prowl. Uh, we left and we're going out here looking, trying to find some ponds to fish today. And uh, I'm over here in an area where there's a bunch of ponds. And this one here, I'm looking at right now. Of course, I'm trying to get you a better view through the windshield. I've never fished, uh, well, I fished this pond one time and back early this spring. And it was uh, crystal clear back then. And I didn't, I didn't fish it very long. I moved on to a different location. here and it looks it's a little flooded something going across it's, it's different from the last time I was here it wasn't there there's another pond right there That's a good looking pond there. And we got this one over here across the street, which we'll get out and we're gonna park and we'll see what we got. It's a pretty good looking pond. And you can see it's not too big. Got some good color to it now since we've had some rain this past week. And then we got this one over here across the road. And there's a couple more right down there. And there's a there's a couple more, two more, matter of fact, or well, three actually ponds right down here, right. 
down the, that right down the road down here there's two good ones and a little one I I fished these other two and there's one particular down here back in the spring and summer I caught good fish in I haven't been back out here last time I was here was back in the summertime and it was really hot I think in July August time area it was I mean I'm sorry July August time frame and it was really hot back then and and uh, we had a lot of thunderstorms and a lot of rain and all that coming through and I just had a fit I couldn't I couldn't really do what I wanted to do and and uh, fish like I wanted to so I just gave it up that day and I haven't been back since so we're gonna try we're gonna spend the day fishing these ponds here I may go up to the uh, another pond and a little later if I don't do any good here and uh, we'll see what we can do let's go all right guys we uh, are over here at the pond that was across the road gonna give it a whirl we're gonna walk around this thing and try different things today Now, now I'm throwing a, just picked up a spinner bait, three ounce spinner bait with a little white chartreuse blue color skirt. Got a silver and gold Colorado Indiana blade. We're going to throw it around and See if we can pick us up a fish. Worth got a little color to it. The one of, that one seems to have a little bit more color. I think. Usually these ponds are crystal clear. But I'm glad they got some color. I prefer it. Have color. Spare bait's a good bait to cover water, cover water fast, try to locate fish with. Don't always pan out, but I've been pretty successful with it over the years. <coughs> oh, there he is right there. The little pecker head. There he got off. Good sign. I think it was a big old bluegill. That's what it looked like. We got a big, probably one of them war mouse. This things are full of it. Oh, there's another one. He got off. That's the way it was before when I was out here fishing. I, I was catching everything on spinnerbait. I caught crappy. I caught warmouth. I caught bass. I caught. Uh, there's even some gar in here on that spinnerbait. That one right there, what I'm throwing. And then when they, it got, I done that was like late spring, early summer. But when it got, when it got real hot in uh, July and August. These fish just turned off. Okay, guys. I got a. I picked up a jerk bait made by Rapala. It's a suspending jerk bait. It's not made to go down very far, shallow. It's 
perfect for the this you know this pond but also for shallow water That's a really good flash in the water. I just try different techniques and rolling it back real slow because it gives a real fat, kind of a fast, fat wobble flash. Give it a little twitch. It looks real good. Uh, looks like an injured. I got an injured bait fish. Just twitching it, letting it sit. Twitching it, letting it sit. There he is. Here's another one. He's not that big, but hey, he's a fish. Catch his fish, a little old pecker head. I ain't got my needle nose with me. I do believe. Look. No, even right now, they're in my bag. I should got them. Go tell your buddies. He gone. If you know what I wonder where I'm throwing, this is a I don't know if they even got these things on the market anymore. But out by Bill Bill Dance many years ago. It's the next caliber. Spitting image. That's what they call it. Oh spitting image. We used to catch a lot of fish on them back years ago, and it's just some of these older lures that I've had for many years. Because, guys, I've been fishing for bass fishing, you know, and uh, bass fishing and bass fishing uh, tournaments, I'm trying to say, and been in the tournament trails and been out bass, and just bass fishing in general for a long time. I'm, uh, almost 56 years old and I get I started bass fishing back with my dad I was probably I don't know 10 years old it's big enough to get out there and get at it and I've been my dad was really a hardcore bass fisherman he fished for many years he fished in, in the clubs and the tournaments and Oh, where's another one? I missed him. They want that thing. Missed that one. All right, guys. 
I moved down just a little bit down the road. You can see it's a different pond. And um, like I say, this, I don't have many ponds that out here. There's quite a bit. That's, I know, let's see, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine just uh, in this area on this side of the road. And uh, on the other side of the road, there's, I don't know how many over there, it's four or five, maybe more. This is a bunch of farm ponds down here. They clearly, all this used to be farmland and they cleared it all out. And, and building the houses all out here you can't see them but and that clearing across the, the pond and up toward the road and and that going that direction all the way to the highway they building uh, houses putting in the subdivisions and they just came out here and cleared all this off and made it accessible for people There got mosquitoes kicking it. I wanted to try this, this spermate in here because back in the oh lord, I guess I hit the GoPro over at the bottom. I think I just missed one. Back when I was as I was in the before it got hot, I was killing them in this little pond right here. Digging mosquitoes for rough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle mosquitoes. I didn't even bring no mosquito spray. I should have brought some off and I didn't. Mosquitoes just haven't been that bad down here. That's I was here in the summertime and got attacked by dead gum. Deer flies. I kid you not. I mean, they attacked me like a bunch of bumblebees. Chased me into the car. Hundreds of them, man, just swarming me and biting me like crazy. Real bad that them. Um, oh, hopefully they're. Calm, hopefully they calm down. <laughs> but I, I, I caught a lot of bass on this spinnerbait in this pond back when the conditions were very favorable in the early. Like, well, the, between when it was still springtime before it got hot. Man. Don't mean you will now, but I just wanted to try and see. I moved over here. I told you I was one more cast and I'm going to keep moving. 
what you got to do. Keep moving. Cover water. Keep it moving. See if I can get a bust on that. So no detations yet. And I, and I, I caught one on that the other pond on that and missed two. Son. Good fish. Good fish. Y'all see that boys and girls? He jumped on that thing right here. He nailed that thing. Spitting image. I knew there's fish in here. Find something they want to eat. This seems to be the ticket today. Ain't no sense in throwing anything else. You see what I did? How I just kept fishing around the pond and just, you know, throwing my lures that I think they would eat and trying to find out what they want. gotta do good fish I ain't got my scales I'm gonna buy some scales I had some but my battery the dead battery died in it it just wouldn't hold a charge anymore it just got bad and so I got rid of it so I gotta get another scale but he don't look very big he could keep her feel like he he feels like he might go two pounds go tell your mama and then your daddy come back and get you some. I would release him a little better, but I can't get bent down there like that. Like I used to. Slippery mud and fall back in the, in the water. <laughs> Old slippery muddy bank. Zing! Here I go. That'd be in the water, boys. One thing was my drag wasn't set good neither. Yeah. Did you see what I done? That fish wasn't playing. He nailed that thing. I should have took a picture of that fish.
I mean, that fish grabbed that. <laughs> he was like just four or five feet in front of me. He hit that thing so hard it actually scared me. Wasn't expecting it. All right, guys. Still at it. I moved uh, over here on the back side of the pond. We were over there on that other side where we started, where the car is at. We started there on that corner. And worked our way around the whole pond. We just walked all the way around. And I was just right over there and through over here coming back and that's where I caught that, that bass a little bit ago so I moved over here to the, the corner where I was standing opposite from and uh, I seen bait fish back here earlier and fish I mean fish on bait fish running them back there in this corner Young bucks, it's terrible when you're ten. You. We're gonna fan cast this thing around here, throw it up and down that bank over there a little bit. I'm going to throw it up in this bank, throw it out in front of me. We're going to fan this right here and fish this, go over and fish that corner. Oh, there he is. He just come and got, that thing was just sitting there and he come and got it. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, you're fixing to get, uh, they got bug. Educated. For those of you who don't know, that thing right there, you see, has a gar. Now, if he'll be, be still, well, I don't have to get that out of his, out of his mouth. So, that's a gar. Really? You be still, fella, or get you back in the water. Peace, birdie. He's just a fish, but they will tear up you. The big ones will, man. They'll tear you. They'll break your line. And they'll, they'll mess you up. They'll mess your lures up. They'll break, they'll just break your line and cut your line and everything else. Fun to catch, though. You get one on. That's what I told you. In this thing right here, I've caught bass in here. I've caught gar, which you seen that. I've caught uh, crappie in here. I caught one of the biggest crappies I ever caught in my life out of here on a spinnerbait. He bought about three pound crappie. That picture of him. He's on my. He's on my page. He's on my Instagram page for sure. Probably on my 
Facebook page too. Go on, mosquitoes, go. Alright guys, I have come across the street from that pond over there and I come across over here to this pond and it's got a little bit of color on it more so than that, the one we just came from kind of milky looking kind of, maybe the skeeters won't be so bad over here they eat me up over yonder and I usually find fish over here in this right in this in this, this little slough right here always bass in here roaming around and this thing's got some water in it compared to this Usually a little bit shallower than this. Okay, it's got an extra cut, maybe two feet. I'm just gonna keep on working this thing. I don't know if there was anything else or not. I, I see a bait fish swimming around. Yeah, we like fishing these little places like this. this is, I like fishing these ponds. I don't like all the mosquitoes. Didn't take them long. Where to go? She. I want to. There ain't nothing out here for these mosquitoes. They go biting on. Except maybe some deer. All right, guys. Appreciate you joining us today. Moving back at the house. It was a long day. <laughs> It's a good day though. It, we had uh, some beautiful weather with the, the temperatures were really good and uh, you know, no rain and some sunshine and some little cloud cover. It was an awesome day with the weather. The water conditions were really good and and um, we've done good uh, today. We, I mean, I, I, I think I ended up with about five fish I ended up catching. Uh, got a few on video that we caught and uh, I did catch a, a good one. I looked like about three pounder. Uh, you know, caught that crazy gar. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the, the content, enjoyed the video. That spitting image, man, that, that Excalibur by Bill Dance, that spitting image, it came out in the 90s. That was the bait today. And uh, that's what we caught all our bass on. As, uh, uh, caught them all on that spitting image. They wouldn't eat anything else. We tried spinner baits. We tried cr uh, chatter baits, crank baits, jerk baits. Uh, and then they wouldn't eat none of that. And uh, started throwing that uh, spitting image, which I had tied on. Because I had an idea we might be catching them on that thing. I, I used to catch them pretty good on that thing some years ago. It's been a minute, but uh, I thought we'd give it a try and see how it worked out. And uh, like I said, you might not be able to find that plug. I don't know if they even make it anymore, if you can find it at the store. 
I, I think I bought them back at Walmart back in the 90s. And I was just talking to my dad and was telling him uh, about, you know, us catching those today on that spitting image. And he remembers back with me and him back uh, some years ago, we were wearing them out on that thing. And he said, I'm gonna go tie mine on. He's gonna, <laughs> he gonna go try it too. But if you got one, go try it, go throw it. It'll catch him schooling fish. It'll, it'll catch them if they're just, you know, out feeding bass just up and feeding chasing bait around you know they don't have to be schooling necessarily i was catching them they went to school and they were just out feeding and uh, eating you know trying to get ready for dinner i was kidding they were just eating like they normally do chasing fish around and you know they're bait fish that they are eating if it's in the ponds you know they're chasing mostly those minnows around the baby fish uh and just not shedding these ponds and not to my knowledge. Now on the big water, it'd be different dude, with the big shad and shiners and all out there. But anyway, we had a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Remember, this is Keeping It Real Bass Fishing. If you don't know, I'm Scott Pesor. And um, we appreciate you joining. If you would, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. Let us know you're enjoying the content. We appreciate it. Uh, let us know how well we're doing so we keep on doing this for you guys. Hope you like I say you had a good day and I did uh, and you enjoyed it and um, it's been a pleasure like always and guys remember keep it real because that's what I'm doing. Let's go get that big one. We'll see you next time.